Hello everyone, it's week six. Uh, last week we talked about the word taxonomy, or let's call it category. My hope was that through exploration on the mural and thinking about your content that you would look a little bit higher level and see are there any categories that are understood within the world of your topic. Now, some of those had some fairly simple answers, <clears throat> pardon me, the world uh, where you have a lot of uh, different instances and of an object, there's usually something at a higher level to help group those instances. And so at the very end here, I was looking for examples, the actual wording that, you, that describes uh, that world. Uh, and many of you came through, uh, some did not, some still remained a little bit too high level, meaning you're just saying, well, it's something like this. So uh, I can kind of delay a little bit, but let me tell you about what the next few weeks are about. So the next few weeks are really starting to demonstrate to a user what your content is. So if we go to this week, uh, we're actually talking a little bit about navigation and site mapping. So let's go there. So I call it sort of nouns and verbs. Nouns meaning things that describe something that are concrete. Verbs are ways to get around. I would like to focus this week on using your terms uh, that you came up with to build a grouping or a mapping of kind of the disparate ways that people can navigate your content. I think a good example, I got one here of my own, First of all, uh, you can organize it by smell. These are chemicals that are used to uh, create perfume. So these, this is the taxonomy that is created around smells. They're called florals, orientals, woods, or greens, and florals have soft fours, oriental florals. Uh, so this is a top, a subject and a subtopic or topic and subtopic. So this is the major grouping and this is the minor grouping. So in order to, uh, to navigate, you might start at a high level and drill down to a low level as we spoke about last week. Uh, I also did another one here, which is uh, talking about synthetic and natural as being another way to filter this. Or of course, you know, something like you can always do it by name or, or uh, another kind of, I guess, less, uh, um, your more mechanical way of, of sorting or filtering. Also remember, you have the data itself, so that can be organized and uh, shown by price or something else. And obviously, as we move forward, we'll talk a little bit more about showing things by popularity or even dealing with that concept. That still is way in the future. We're, we're still just laying the groundwork. So in order to demonstrate your concept, you will create uh, and share a sitemap and for the final project, which is due in the next couple of weeks, uh, the first part of this will be your sitemap. So you, you'll be using bits and pieces of each week to create project number three. And you all can let me know. I'm happy to do a Q&A session or a Blue Jean session if you need to when we talk about that final project. But right now we're just kind of putting uh, things into place. So there's a bit of a concept that we're going to learn this week that we're going to apply next week. So let's make it clear. First of all, how do we use those words and that wording to create this mapping or grouping and demonstrate it by this concept of called a site map? And don't be too literal. I mean, sites are not really mapped as much anymore. It's more a conceptual map. Let's call it that. And uh, what I want you to do is to start to understand ways that you can display those concepts so that they are actionable by a user and that has to do with navigation patterns so here's a library of navigation patterns right here what i'd like everyone to attempt to do is use this resource to learn what these things are but these are all types of navigation i'd like you to go see what they are and then go find an example out in the world of somebody who uses that pattern and share the pattern here uh, just name it, you know, whatever that is, and that's about it. So it's just an exercise of looking and being able to recognize these navigation patterns so that you can perhaps use them next week as we start wireframing out or displaying how we're going to, how someone's going to put all the pieces together. Your records will be one part, navigation will be another part, and then that'll be on a, uh, on a page. So that's the third part. Uh, so this is a little bit of pre-work for next week. This is 
putting the concepts from last week, if you didn't really get the picture and understand how that uh, w was going to work, the, the, the concepts we were going through about uh, taxonomies, uh, think about that hard, think about this first, and share this first so that you can get feedback. And uh, I hope you guys have a good week. I'm always here for comments, and I'm hopefully always there to give you uh, direction when needed. So thanks, have a great week.